For the final section in this series, let's take a look at integrating a few libraries that play well with React Hook form. For our first integration, we're going to take a look at Yup. Yup is a powerful schema validation library with which we can write schemas and validate our form values. Let's understand how it works with an example. To get started, I have already created a new component called Yup YouTube form. It contains only three fields, username, email, and channel. We are tracking the form state by registering all the fields and submitting the form data using handle submit. What is left is validating the field values. Let's validate our form, ensuring all the fields are mandatory fields and the email format is valid. Now to validate with Yup, we begin by installing the required dependencies. In the terminal, within the project folder, run the command npm install yup and at hook form slash resolvers. Here, yup is the package we want to integrate and hook form resolvers is a package which bridges React hook form with yup. Step two, we import the dependencies. Import yup resolver from hook form slash resolvers slash yup and import star as yup from yup. Step three, we define the yup validation schema. Now this video is not going to be a tutorial on Yup library itself. I recommend you go through the documentation to understand better how to write the different validation rules. This video is about integrating Yup with React Hook form, so I will give you a brief explanation of how to write a Yup schema. Const schema is equal to Yup dot object. To this, we pass in an object which contains the rules for each of our form fields. Our first field is username, which is a required field. The way we specify this validation with yup is yup.string.required and the error message to display if required validation fails. Username is required. Let's repeat this for email and channel as well. Copy and paste, change username to email and channel. And finally, let's also ensure the email format is valid. For that, yup.string.email, which is a built-in rule, and we pass in the error message to be displayed if validation fails. Email format is not valid. Now that we have a validation schema, for step four, we connect this schema with our form. As an option to the use form hook, we specify resolver, and the value is yup resolver with schema as the argument. This will validate the form values and populate the errors object. I already have the HTML in place to access the appropriate keys and display the error messages. If we now save the file, head back to the browser, click Submit, we see the different error messages. Enter an invalid email format, and you can see the error message updates to email format is not valid. We have successfully integrated Yup with React Hook form. All right, in the next video, let's see how to integrate React Hook form with Zod, which is a similar library to Yup. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.